fell. How'd that happen? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to KPE Paranormal Urbex. Tonight, we bring you all here to a new location. This is off of an beaten path, and it's very secluded. It's, you know, surrounded by woods. It's very creepy. It's a huge place, a huge abandoned house for us to explore and check out. And I can already tell you this, it is haunted for sure. Before arriving to this house, my car started acting up, which is kind of strange because it never happened like that before. Like the car started shaking. So that could be the spirits telling us to be careful coming to this house as there could be some sort of attachment that is in this house that we do not know of yet till we arrive at this house. Like it could be something evil, could be something good, but we just definitely got to be careful, watch out and watch for our surroundings inside this house. Y'all coming along on this video, make sure to smash the like button to share this video out. Y'all coming with. Let's do this. I found us a new place. We're pulling it up to the driveway the first time. It's very secluded. Yep, it's abandoned. Right there. Hello? Gotta go through these woods. What the hell was that? Alrighty then. Already getting stuff. Oh yeah, it's definitely abandoned. Look at this, y'all. Wow. Hello? See nobody in here. Car is locked. Uh, ooh, almost tripped. As you all see, surrounded by woods. We got a moon out tonight, almost a full moon. But look how far back off of the beaten path it is. And it's like far back. Did my light just chat, Dad? Already! My light just died. What the heck? It should not die that quick. It was half charged and it's already dead. That's insane. First, the spirits were trying to, you know, tell me something with my car, you know, like making it shake and whatnot. It was weird. And now they drained the light off my video light and it was half charged. I need to go out and get me a spare. I'll be right back. Look at all this bush. There's an easier access point to it. Ow. 
<laughs> Old dial phone. Video light already died. That's not. No. If you get down camera. Oh wow. My video like that already. Interesting room. Ooh, wow. Almost fell through. Look at that. If I would have went further, I would have fell through. Checking this place out. This would have been the kitchen. But as you see one step and then you go through the floor watch one step you're through the floor <laughs> so not gonna risk that bathroom right back there It looked a lot bigger on the satellite view. It's not a bedroom over there, but I don't really want me to trust it. Right, we could like walk outside and go out that way and come through that way to possibly go up there. And after we scout the place out, we'll start the investigation. Ow, a stick. Oh, there's the other phone. Look at that. To go to that over there. All right, thorn bushes. But also make sure there's no spider whips too, you know. So far, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Now I just got to make my way over without getting thorned up. So I'll say...
Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. I'm getting formed up, y'all. Ow. Ow. But I'll try to see if there's another way in for to get to the other rooms, y'all. So I can show y'all. There's this obstacle here. Um, best scenario. That ain't gonna work. I was trying to see if I can knock that down. Just have to climb over here. Hold this as like a, uh, you know, something to hold on to. Man. Y'all definitely share out this video. This is a going to be an awesome video. Knocked out a few spider webs of that old trip. Okay, I could possibly swing this way into that. Um, There we go, made some room for me. Now there is this, there we go. Lots of bush. Um, definitely gotta watch out for spiders. This is like dead bush already, so. I'm basically cleaning the bush, you know, like a walkway, cleaning it. Oh, the phone fell. How'd that happen? Y'all seen that, right? My phone fell. Rusty, my phone literally fell off my phone holder. I got it on camera. My phone fell out of the phone holder. Yo. My phone legit fell off the phone holder. Right when I was talking about, I was cleaning up the uh, bush, the brush, all that stuff. Whomever haunts this place. Caused the uh, phone to come off the phone holder. Probably because I was putting up the bush and Spirit may not have liked it. And so Spirit just took the phone off the phone holder. Alrighty, so I made it through all that bush. I cleared, you know, some path to get here. There's the other room. Hey, what's up? I made it through. There is another room back over here. I want to take it easy. There is a closet. Yeah, it's a closet. 
These floors are risky. But the phone legitimately flew off my phone holder. I just spared, took it off the phone holder and tossed it to the ground. I see my white phone. Yeah. I just don't like this floor. Yeah, I want the phone up. Was it onto the door? Did you walk on here? I went from my heel to the door, then up here, then back like that. Alrighty. Yeah, this floor is very sketchy right here. Alrighty, I got you all on the uh, door window. And the floors here, as you've all seen in this video, are very, very flimsy. You know, you can fall in at any point if you go further into the rooms. That's why we gotta stay like at least halfway where it's dirty enough to explore some more. We are feeling a presence of an older gentleman. His spirit seems to be haunting this home. What I felt upon arriving here is that he may have passed away on the road. That was like coming from away from this house. Could be out, could be on a tractor of some sort, something like that, possibly. When I was like driving here, but joy that, right? For a split second, it started shaking. That has me thinking, the spirit might have passed away right there, that spot where the car started shaking. He could have passed away on a tractor, and now he's like have a uh, residual haunting going on. Now he's possibly still working on a farm and whatnot, and he's replaying his death, if that makes sense. We did have, me personally, the camera, you know, the phone, flew off the tripod holder into the ground. That's in the video. When we also walked in here, there's like a, some sort of dead animal. I don't know what kind of animal that is, but y'all let me know. We're gonna continue. This is definitely a unique find, and we're gonna get some answers. Let's do this. While I was talking to y'all, right there's where I had the camera. There was a noise back here, like a shuffling. Could be them. I'm gonna ask them. Did y'all hear shuffling? I did step on this. You did? Mm -hmm. And that could have been you. So that shuffling was a uh, joy when he was moving around. Um, I think we should start the investigation. All right, I got night vision on my phone. Turned on. Ooh, almost tripped. All right, so there's something ominous about this barn. I've already heard stuff running past it, where noises, and now they they have been hearing it. I think we should place a cat ball here. Place it right here.
Did you hear the first step, Haji? What's in there? I believe so. Either chicken coop or storage. There's a daddy long leg. Guess the daddy long leg was afraid to be on camera. <laughs> Yeah, storage. How's my foot? There we go. Did you hear that? I'm not sure that's a backpack, but I'd heard a get out of my house, something like that. It was very faint, it was a female. <coughs> so I like get out of my house. I was still recording at the same time. I want to test that out again to see if it was my foot. I'm pretty sure it was. Hold on. Because the cat ball went off. It's not going off again. That was when I heard get out of my house. Yeah, see, look. Put a lot of pressure on it. Huh? The what? No, it's not dead. Um, still got juice in it. But it's like not going off with my foot. How to debunk it, but that was paranormal. And then that was right after you know I heard a female saying, "Get out of my house." See, still works. It's kind of cold too. Rusty. The cat ball went off. I tried debunking it, thinking it was my shoe with the vibration. Yeah. And it's not going off by my foot again. That was a spirit. Yeah. Setting that cat ball off. And then the you know, female spirit said, get out of my house. She said it like this. Get out of my house. Yeah, I can feel that. They don't want it there. Not, it's not really, you know, like demonic or like evil. Mm -hmm. It's more of like... Old man, old woman. Like, I just heard now. Yeah, they don't want to see. Look, I got chills right now. An older couple. So there's an older male and an older female here. He died out here, she died inside. <laughs> There's some sort of car. Is it pulling in here? No. Alright, so that was kind of sketchy. There's yeah, there's another car. Too. Yeah, it's going down too. We're going to wrap up this investigation. We're going to respect the spirit's wishes. Uh, right by that barn when we were doing the investigation, I heard a female spirit get out now. And then it followed by another now, like a longer stretched out now. And then the uh, cat ball went off right before the female spirit said get out now. What do you have to say about that, Rusty? Well, my experience <clears throat> when I was standing there, I witnessed it happen, but I, I felt like a, you know how when you're at your grandma's house and you're being sneaky or like getting in the cookie jar or something, well, I seen like a, a black shadow dart through the woods 
and I heard something run. And as I was standing there, I had enormous, a bunch of chills come over me. And I heard a woman say Dylan's name. Another car out there. And uh, as I was standing there, we was listening, wanting to know, you know, what's going on. We asked them to communicate, make themselves known. And I myself, I heard, like, sound like an old woman, like, groaning. Like she's hurting or in pain. Um, I believe the man died as he was working his farm. And the woman was still in the house when she passed. Uh, my son, he went to go get his, uh, we have a mailbox. In the mailbox, it's a, a vintage 1990s and it's motion activated. And uh, <clears throat> as soon as we had him go get that, he immediately smelt gas. So that is indication that maybe the lady, the elder lady died of, you know, a fire from a gas. And if you look at some spots in the house that was on fire before. But overall, this house is haunted, but not evil. Just two older couples that want to be left alone. Yes, and right when we were leaving, uh, my leg right here, not sure if y'all can see the, my leg, but it was in pain for a split second. It's like she was making me feel what she felt while she was, you know, in the house while the house was burning and whatnot and the leg was hurting now it's feeling her pain so this house is definitely active and again we were wanting to respect her wishes and we're going to leave the house the way it is and i hope you all like this video this investigation this exploration let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below make sure to smash the like button share this out and i'll see you on the next one kpe paranormal urbex love and peace